Good afternoon. I have been out in the garden today catching stink bugs so I can show you how to kill them without them stinking. Let's get started. These are the two sprayers that we use when we spray our stink bugs. If you have just a few plants and you don't have many stink bugs yet, a little inexpensive handheld sprayer like this can be bought for just a few dollars at Walmart and it will absolutely work. You'll mix to a quart of water, two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. You don't want anything that's antibacterial. It doesn't have to be Dawn even. You can get the cheap stuff. It'll work. We typically have quite a few squash plants. That little hand sprayer is not enough, so we go with the gallon sprayer. We did try the $6 El Cheapo sprayer from Walmart. Unfortunately, it was a waste of money. It did not last more than a week. It was difficult to use. It was difficult to get pumped up. Everything flexed. It leaked. Not good. Spend $15, get a little better quality sprayer, this single gallon pump sprayer here is on its fourth year for us and is still working well. We're going to use that pump sprayer. Again, two tablespoons of dish soap to each quart of water and that's going to kill our stink bugs for us. All right, we're going to do this quickly. I'm going to dump out as many of these bugs as I can and we're spraying them with the Dawn and water mixture. Our goal here is to get them soapy and sudsy, and they're going to drown. All right, here we go. I'm going to dump them in this Tupperware container, and we're going to start to spray. Okay, that's good. See, that big one right there, he already killed over. That guy is not far behind. Yep, he's down. There's another one down here. Now, this soap is putting a film over where they breathe in oxygen and they're suffocating. There are adults in here. There's some juveniles. There's one right there. It kills them all. You don't have to touch them. Of course, you're going to be spraying these when they're right on a leaf in your garden. Walk around with a pump sprayer. When you see them, you coat them to where they have suds on them. And that is enough. It is kind of gross, huh, baby girl? And that's enough to kill them. And that's all this is. It's soap and water. I did this in another video a year or two ago. You couldn't see it. It was pretty low quality. So this will be an update for that video. And there they are. Just soap and water. There's a little... So I'm out here in the heat of the day now looking for these squash bugs. They're going to be in the shade. If you've got a lot of leaf matter on the soil, they're going to be down there. Or they're going to be underneath a leaf or even in the shade of one. Right here. In the center of that leaf is a smaller stink bug. You can apply this soap and water onto the leaf, but when you're done, use your garden wand and rinse that soap and water off. Little girl grabbed that sprayer. I've got a bug right here in the middle. Now, if you put the wand too close to the insect, you're gonna blow it off of there. You're going to get it covered in the soap and water but if you leave it in place, you're going to be able to watch it and see it die. And generally within 30 seconds, they're going to be dead. And he's done for. It's a Japanese beetle. Knocked him off. There he is. To look for these bugs in addition to the shade, look for the leaf. That damage out here are from the stink bugs. 
you may not find the adults on here, but if you turn it over, you're probably going to find a whole mess of the juveniles. We've already knocked most of them off when we collected stink bugs for the day, but those are the places that you're going to look. We work at keeping the leaf matter off of the soil, but what you can do, I've got a couple of pieces of cardboard here, place those on the soil near the stem of the plants, and those stink bugs will crawl up underneath that cardboard when the sun starts to come up. They're looking for shade, looking for protection from the heat of the day. So you will come down with your sprayer, lift that cardboard up, and just spray everything that you find under there. As you're walking through your squash and you're looking for these things, they're going to move directly away from you. I sometimes see them through a leaf. I can see their shadow on the other side of the leaf. They're pretty good about hiding. So kind of watch as you walk in a circle, they'll move away from them and you're going to catch the movement. You see another one, baby girl? Right where? Oh yeah, go ahead and blast him. And if I put my finger there, it'll kind of come back. Come here. Right there. If they don't die after 30 seconds, that one's getting ready to die. They may not have enough soap on them. Just hit them again. I like to see a little bit of suds on them when I do it. Maybe grow up last him again a little further away this time. Get the one. There we go. Blast. There you go. Good deal. And that'll do it. He may already be dead. Yeah, he's just hanging on dead. All right, there's another one on that leaf. And I'm eight to 10 inches away from him. Blast him with the soap, get him good and sudsy. And that's all it's gonna take. Come here, Mr. Squash Bug. And he's dead. In addition to controlling the insect, you need to control these eggs. These little orange pill looking round things here, those are eggs. You can smash them with your finger or you can use some tape. And I'll show you how to do that here next. We've got a leaf that came out of the greenhouse and there's quite a few eggs on here. Obviously you don't want to do this to every leaf that has eggs on it from your garden. And I've got some black tape here that I'm going to use. Here baby girl, won't you take that? To show you how to do this. I typically use duct tape, but I don't have my duct tape out here in handy. This was available, so we're going to use that and show you. You're just going to take that duct tape and you're going to dab it down against the egg and push on the egg slightly through the tape. Peel that tape up and your eggs are going to be on that tape. Repeat that process till all the eggs are removed. When your tape is full you can either burn it if you burn trash or if you have a trash service put it inside of a Ziploc bag so that when they do hatch they don't get back into your garden. Put them in the Ziploc bag and get rid of them. You can also use your hand and just squish them like that. That will kill them as well. But I have found that when I do that, it's going to tear a hole in the leaf. It's not going to hurt the plant, but I just don't like all the holes in the leaves. Places like this are a little more difficult because of the stem, but with your tape, you can get them out. Show me that tape again. And those are all squash bug eggs. 
Take those, get rid of them. They will never hatch to be in your garden.